Hi, good evening, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good evening. How are you guys? How are you on this Monday? Fine. Fine. Nice. How was the weekend? Did you relax on the weekend? Relax. Relaxed. Sí. That is cool. Some yeah. of you work, yeah. right? Work, study. You can relax. Watch Netflix. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is nice. Good. Welcome, Nidia, Luis Alberto, Wilber. Welcome, Francisco, Tatiana. Who else we have? We have Iris, Bryant, Sarina. Welcome, guys. It's very good to see you one more time. And with a new section, we have section number four. The time passed quickly, right? So the time flies actually we're going to continue with a new topic this one is the name of this one is did you have fun and let's see your objective by the end of this class you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do now what are things that people dislike they don't like to do there are many activities right for example, at work, if you want to check like a different information reports, it's stressful, right? What about cook? Do you like to cook? Yes, I like. Yes, you like it? Okay, so you don't hate it. It's not a problem for you. You don't hate to cook. Now, let's go ahead here on some of the activities common activities that people hate to do. He says, top eight things people hate to do. For example, standing line, do laundry, travel to work, especially if it's by bus, with this traffic that is crazy, go to meetings, exercise. Well, there are many people that they love to do exercise, but others, no, right? Don't like to do exercise. Francisco, do you like to do exercise? More or less. More or less, okay. <laughs> what about work in the yard? Some people take it like a relaxed time, right? Like a hobby to do something in the yard, in the garden also. Clean the house. That's something really necessary, right, to do. Open the mail. Let's go ahead with the video that we have. To check about some vocabulary. So we have vocabulary about top eight things people have to do. If you say have to do, it's like a, it's obligatory that you do these things. Let's check it out. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about... No problem with the video? No. No? All right, thanks. About ...things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, Go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. 
besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so let's check here in a specific those activity that you watch on the video. Let's see. Do you hate to do these things? Or what other things do you hate to do? And why? For example, if I ask you, do you hate to stay in line or to stand in line? Nidia, do you hate to stand in line? Like when you go to the bank, for example, or to the pharmacy? A little. A little bit? Yes, especially if you're in a hurry, right? That you need to do the things quickly. So you have to wait there. All right. What about Luis Alberto? Do you? Do you hate to, let's see, do, you, do the laundry? Do you? They hate to. Es la de arriba, va? Uh, this one, for example, number two. Do you hate to do laundry? Do laundry. Do laundry. Uh -huh. Do you hate to do laundry? To wash the clothes? Do you? Do in you, your case? Do you laundry? Sí. In, in your case? Do you hate? Sí. Sí, sí. You hate yes. it? You hate it? Yes. Right? Not very good, right? To do it. <laughs> Thank you. Wilbur, what about you? Do you hate? Uh, do you hate to travel to work? <coughs> Teacher, um, solamente quiero hacer una pregunta. Tell me. Yes. Bueno, dos vanas. Una, eh, digamos, en un saludo así como al inicio, la que usted preguntaba cómo estamos, en, es formal decir, I'm okay. Yeah, sure. It's okay to say sí. it. Yes. What happened is that in the greetings. Do you have different manners to say it? I'm okay, I'm very good, I'm fine, I'm very good, I'm great, I'm cool, uh, I'm excellent. Okay, es que nunca lo había visto así en algo tan formal, ma. solo <laughs> en películas o cosas así. Oh, okay, but yes, it's good, you can say different manners to say it. Okay, mm -hmm. bye, la otra es, uh, ¿cómo fue la pregunta? The question is, do you hate to work, uh, to travel to work? Um, ¿Qué significa hate? Odiar. Um, do you hate to si travel yo... to work? Que si yo odio viajar al trabajo, algo así. Exactly. <coughs> pues, ¿cómo contestaría que normalmente yo uso, digamos, que yo viajo? Bueno. Yo no uso transporte, yo uso, uh -huh. uh, digamos, como bus. You take the bus. Uso, uh, no uso motocicleta. Ah, okay, you're right. Uh -huh. Uh, you're right. So you don't hate. Así sería. It will be, is this negative? Then you say, no, I don't. Ah, uh, okay. Entonces no, sería, I no, I... Because you travel, siempre viaja. Uh -huh. You always do it. Uh -huh. So it's no, uh -huh. I don't. So one answer, it will be like this. No, I don't. And that will be an, a short answer. Okay. No, I don't, because you don't hate. You don't hate to travel to work. Normally we hate it because we have to travel by bus, right? That is the problem. Ajá, uh -huh. es que yes. ahí no está especificando, ¿verdad? Yo quizás mm -hmm. me confundí un poco. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's not like the manner, but it's like a, a, all like the trajectory that you have to and wait to get to work. Okay. That's why it's like you hate to travel there. Great. Thank you. Luis Antonio, what about you? Do you hate to go to meetings? Mm, Sometimes depends mm -hmm. of the people. Ah, that is a good point, you know. It's a very special point because if the, the people that you have, uh, for example, if he's at work and you know that the boss 
is going to be there and the boss is very angry, right? Or right. maybe like uh, the other persons, they don't have like a good manner to treat the other people. So you don't like it. You prefer not to go, but it, sometimes it's obligation, right? To be in the meeting. So there's something that you hate. All right. Thank you. Very good. Let's continue. Then Carlos Mario, what about you? Do you hate to do exercise? Mm. Si quiero decir como más o menos. So, so. So that means so, that so. you do it. You do it. So, yes, I do. Maybe uh, it yes, depends on the place. A veces depende de, del lugar, ¿no? Donde uno haga ejercicio. Like, it depends on the, on the place. What is your favorite place to exercise? Mm, home. What is your favorite place to exercise? Maybe in the park, in your house, at the gym? In my house. In your house. Okay, that's good. So that means that you do not hate or you don't hate to exercise in your home. Seria, no, I don't hate mm -hmm. to exercise. exercise. To uh -huh. exercise. To exercise. Very good. Thank you. Jennifer, what about you? Do you hate to work in the yard? Eh, no, coach. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh -huh, that's right. Good one. Nice. Thank you. Alma Patricia. What about in your case? Do you hate to clean the house? I'm sorry, teacher, I acabo de entrar y no sé qué están ahorita. Okay, we are <laughs> like entrar. asking questions. Estamos haciendo preguntas acerca de las cosas que odiamos hacer. So these ones are typical things. For example, mm -hmm. clean the house, work in the yard, exercise, stand in line, clean the house, limpiar la casa. So do you hate to clean the house? Yes or no? If it's affirmative, no. then you say, yes, I do. Or negative, no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. Very good. Nice. Okay. Uh -huh. You like it? Muy cansado, Leo, para limpiar el hogar. <laughs> ah, okay. So you hate to clean it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces no le gusta, no le gusta limpiarla, right? So you say, I hate. Yes, I do. Yes, I hate to to clean the house. Yeah, yes, it's very exhausting, actually. Yeah, thank you. Camila, what about you? Do you hate to open the email? No, I don't. You don't? Good. So you like to receive emails? Yes. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so you open letters and all of that. Okay, now let's look. Let's put emphasis on the things that we have to do. So we have to do, it means tengo que. What are the things that we have the responsibilities or that is obligatory that we do? For example, if I say I have to go to meetings every month, I hate it. So it's an obligation that I go to meetings. I don't like it. I hate it, but I have to do it. Give me more examples. Francisco, tell me something you have to do. Mm, I hate. Mm. Tell, tell me right now about the, I have to. Algo que tiene que hacer. I have to. I to have practice, to. I have to. Mm, I have to. Uh -huh, I have to. Tus tres zapatos, ¿cómo sería? Ah, I have to brush, brush my shoes. My shoes. All right, that's I good. Have I have to brush my shoes. my shoes. And then you can add, right? I hate it. Co no, Coach, tell me. And the other ex uh, example, how do you say example? Example. example? Another example? Uh, I have to prepare my dinner. Oh, yes, that is true. I have to prepare my dinner, correct. So that is true. That is something that I hate because it takes time. But you know that if you don't prepare it, 
the next day you say, oh, I am hungry. I need food. I need to eat something, right? That's great. Okay, that would be another good example. I have to prepare my dinner. That's great. Thank you, guys. Let's continue. Karen Guadalupe, something that you have to do. I have cleaning the house. I have to clean the house. I have to clean in the house. Clean the house. Clean the, clean house. the house. Very good. Thank you. So it's something that we don't like it very much. But what do you do? Like to relax a little bit when you're cleaning the house. You can play music, right? Yeah. That help you. You play your yeah, favorite teacher. music and you are cleaning and you don't feel the time. No siento el tiempo, right? You don't feel it. So those are the cases here. We have obligations, things that we have obligation to do. If you observe after, in this case, we have <clears throat> affirmative manner. Let's point it out. We have a subject. We have the phrase have to, that it means obligation. After that, we have a verb. The verb is always in the base form. It's original manner. And then you have the complement here. Now, we're going to repeat them. Brenda Esmeralda? Hi. We're going to repeat this one, all right? The first one, please. I have to. I have to go. Go. I have to go. go. I have to go. To meetings. To marrying every month. I, I had it. I hate it. I hate it. That's right. Thank you. That's good. Rosa Irma? Rosa Irma, are you present? No? Estela? Hello. Hello. Oh, yes. Okay, Rosa. <laughs> the uh, second, please. The, I have the to. The second. Okay. Yes, please. I have to brush my shoes. I have it. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. That's right. Thank you. That's good. Estela? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay, let's read the next one, please. I have to. I have, I have, I, I have, have to. Have to. I have to. I have, I have to. Como dice, como dice? Prepare. Prepare. I have to prepare. Uh, my dinner. My dinner. My, my dinner. dinner. That's I good. I have to prepare my dinner. Good one. I have to. Prepare my dinner. Very good. Yes. Thank you, Stella. Tatiana? The last one, please. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Welcome. I have to clean the house. The house. Very good job. Nice. Okay. So this one, you're expressing obligations that you have. If they are obligations, it's because you don't like to do that. Yeah, that do you have sense. questions with this? No questions? No. No? Okay, let's go ahead on the next part. I'm question, no puedo contestar. Question? No. No? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead on the next part. On our next point, we'll go ahead with our simple past. And it says in our objective, that by the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So as we know, the simple past is reflecting the activities that we finished already, right? Things that are on the past. And we have two types of verbs. Verbs that are regular in the ones when you transform to the past, you need to include ed to the base form. For example, we have play in the simple past, played. You include ed. The verb like, liked. You only include the letter d because you have in the base form the letter e. Another verb is cry. 
Simple past. Cried. Stop. Stopped. These are only examples, right? They are regular verbs. Only included ed form. Let's see other examples. We have the present, that is the base form, and then we have the past. For example, accept, accepted. Agree, agreed. Ask, asked. Believe, believed. Call, called. Close, closed. Decide, decided. Discuss, discussed. And, and. And we have other list here. Feel, filled. Help, helped. Invite, invited. Talk, talked. Listen, listened. Move, moved. Need, needed. Play, played. Walk, walked. Do you have a new verb here? Teacher, yes, tell me. Se escuchan casi iguales, ¿verdad? Eh, which ones? ¿Cuáles? En, en pasado. Y ah, en, you mean en, with the D. Ajá, se escuchan casi iguales. Es bien difícil de diferenciar it's, it's cuando están similar. en pasado. Y sí, yes. Y no. depending. Ajá. De, de, el, el sonido es como el sonido de una T al final, ¿verdad? Like a D or like a T. Tienen tres sonidos. Ya vamos a ver ahorita una diferencia. Que sí es. Oh. Ajá, tienen una pequeña diferencia. Por ejemplo, acá en el caso de accept, como termina en una T, no se va a pronunciar como accepted. No, no suena como T al final, sino es como una id. Accepted. Suena como D al final. Y if you use feel, feel D. D. Una D. Suena una D. Agree, agreed. Help, helped. Los que terminan con una P y los que terminan con una K, esos verbos, va a sonar en el pasado como una T. En el caso de work, for example, you have the verb work. In the past, you say worked. So, depende mm -hmm. de cuál sea la última letra también, cuál sea su sonido en su forma base. Let's check the structure that we have here. In the regular verbs, you have the positive manner or the affirmative. With all of the subjects, you conjugate the same manner. That is the good thing in the past. You don't need to conjugate different, not like in the simple present, right? That he, she, it, you include the S. No, in simple past, it's the same form of the verb, no change. I worked, you worked, We worked, they worked, he worked, she worked, it worked. As the verb finishes the base form in letter K, the pronunciation here, the sound is like letter T. Termina en una K, su forma base. Entonces, la L en el pasado ya suena como una T. Just worked. So it's not worked, it's worked. I worked. This is in the affirmative. In the negative, it's necessary to include the auxiliary. Remember, the auxiliary in the past is did. For example, I didn't work. Here you have a contraction, but you can perfectly use the form of the complete manner. You can say did not. And the manner is correct to use it. So you can say like this, I did not work or I didn't work. You did not work or you didn't work. We did not work or we didn't work. They did not work, they didn't work. He did not work, he didn't work. She did not work, she didn't work. It did not work, it didn't work. Negative, you need auxiliary. Complete or contraction. 
In the form of question also is necessary the auxiliary because you need to know what is the time. It's not like uh, I work, you worked. That's informal manner. De manera informal, utilizan para hacer una pregunta eh, a veces el verbo en pasado. Like, you worked yesterday? You worked yesterday? Pero eso es informal. De la manera correcta, gramaticalmente, debe de ir el auxiliar tanto en una eh, negativa como en una pregunta. So, for example, here will be, did I work? Did you work? Did you work? Did they work? Did he work? Did she work? Did it work? Now, something happens with the verb when you have negative in question. What is the difference? What can you observe in the verb? Did va uh -huh. antes en la pregunta. Uh -huh. okay. Y en la negativa, antes de, de... The subject, right? Ah, del sujeto, sí. You have, uh, y, and the auxiliary y subject and verb. Uh -huh. And in the negative too. And in the negative you have, well, you have both, but you change position. Mm, sí. You have, they didn't work, correct. But what happens with the verb? You see that the verb is different? Affirmative, worked. Negative, didn't work. Question, work. Que did, el verbo, ajá. el verbo cuando se usa did, el mm -hmm. verbo se escribe en su forma <laughs> infinitiva. That is perfect. Thank you. Why? Because it's not like, it's like repetitive. For that reason is that you have the auxiliary. The auxiliary helps the verb and transforms in the past. That is very good, Carlos. Thank you. That is the form. You have the auxiliary. You have the verb in the base form. Same case here. Now in affirmative, you have the verb in the past because you don't use auxiliary in affirmative form. Questions about this? No question, coach. No questions? Okay, let's go ahead then with the next part. And we have another video. And this one is about simple past statements with regular verbs. We're going to see some examples there. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E-D. Study. Studied. S-T-U-D-I-E-D. Stay. 
stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and coworkers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, as it was saying on the video, we have the simple past statements, but these ones are just regular verbs. And 
the sounds to pronounce in the past, they sound very similar, right? For example, if we have, I studied on Sunday. So this one is not like a T, it's like T. So now una D al final. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. Now, watched, it sounds like a T. So at the end, it's a T. I watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed at home. This one sounds like t -t stayed. T -t -t. Suena una D al final. She stayed at home. Or she stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. The letter P, then to transform in the past, is like a T. But we shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. Exercised. Suena una de. Exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. So, as we were mentioning, we have the contraction. You can use did not, that is complete, or contraction. That is better, it's more practical to use contraction. Didn't equals did not. In the spelling, we have watch, watched, exercise, exercised, study, studied, stay, stayed. Shop, shopped. Question about this? We're going to see more examples with this. Teacher, yes. didn't or didn't? Didn't. 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 Como si hubiera una de por ahí. Didn't. Ajá, it sounds. Suenan ambas de. Pues didn't. Como si fuera una de también, una, una e después una de e. la segunda de. Mm -hmm. Didn't. Ajá. Didn't. Okay. I didn't study, or I did not study. So observe that after the auxiliary, if you have negative, you need to use the base form of the verb. You don't have simple past again, right? It's not, I didn't study it, or you didn't watch. It's the base form of the time. Let's go ahead on the next part. We have in the affirmative structure, Subject, then you have the verb in the past and the complement. And let's use about these verbs. We have the verb help, helped, invite, invited, talk, talked, listen, listened. Now, give me more examples. Jennifer, here we have an example. It says, I helped my mother in the kitchen yesterday select another verb from the list um i invite my mother in the kitchen yesterday invite mm. invite what is invite oh invi invitar oh invitar I uh -huh. oh, I oh the other the other uh -huh, exactly uh -huh, another example okay. you invite. can use different subjects too you can say my friend invited me. Invited my friend. Mm -hmm. With my friend. I invited my friend. I invited my friend with uh -huh. my... No. So, you, yeah. can, you can invite a person to I, a place. To a party, for oh, example. The party, the party ah, that's for, good. I invited my for, friend to the party. To the party. Uh -huh. In the in the beach. Ah, okay, that's good. To to the beach party. Ah, to the beach party. That's okay. right. It can be like this. I invited my friend to the beach party. Beach. Yeah, that's great. Uh -huh. Good one. Okay, in that case, there, as you notice, you have the subject, the verb in the past, and then you have the compliments. Great. Thank you. Let's continue. Wendy, Wendy Lisette, are you present? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Give us another example, please. You can choose different verb. You can use help, talk, listen. Okay. I helped uh, my daughter 
-hmm. with her homework. Yeah, okay, that's good. Let's use another subject. Let's say if you use uh -huh. we helped. Okay. We helped our daughter with her homework. And there we have, we helped our daughter with her homework. That's all right. Thank you. That's good. Eva Alicia? Hi. Hi. Okay. Give us another example, please. You can use talk, listen, and use different subjects. Here you can use uh, even specific names. For example, if you say, um, uh, Sarah, Sarah talked about Robert, Josephine, Carla. Um, she listened. Okay, she listened. Um, the class. Ah, that's good. She listened to the class. To the class English. Ah, okay. To the English class. To the English, English class. That's all right. Very good. Nice. Thank you. That's great. She listened to the English class. That's very good. Nice. So you have this verb. Now, what about with the verb talk? Brian? Are you present, Brian? Brian? Yes, miss. Yes. Okay. Give us an example now with the verb talk. Sure. Uh -huh. You are going to make a sentence in affirmative, but practice with the verb talk. Remember, talk means platicar, conversar. She, a ver, uh -huh. she talked ah, okay. in the park. Ah, okay. He talked. You can also include something like he talked about music, for example, about food, about movies. Remember that talk about? Platicar acerca de. So he talked about movies, for example, in the party, right? Okay. In the party. That's good. Thank you. He talked about movies in the party. All right. We got these ones in affirmative manner. Great. Okay. Now we are going to repeat them. Sarina, are you pressing now? Yes. Yes. All yes. right. Very good. Now let's continue. We're going to read these ones. The first one, please. I helped. I helped. My mother in the chicken in the kitchen? in the kitchen yesterday. Yesterday, thank you. That's good. Iris Milena. Iris. Hello, teacher. Hello, girl. Okay. Read the second one, please. Hi. Can you okay. read the second? I, I invited, invited my invited. Friend. Invited. I invited. My friend to the beach party. That's right. Thank you. That's correct. Adriana Gabriela. Adriana. No. Jose David. Jose David. Hi, teacher. Hello, Jose. Okay. Let's read this one, please. We helped. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Sure. Permítame, permítame. Es que voy vengo llegando a la casa. Ah, ok. okay. No te preocupes. Ok, later. In a eh, moment. Perdón. ¿Qué, eh, perdón? Yes. Okay. Just repeat this ah, one. Ah, ok. We helped. We helped our uh -huh. daughter with our daughter? her homework. Our daughter? Daughter? daughter with her homework. Her homework. That's good. We helped our daughter with her homework. Thank you. All right. That's a good one. Doris. She listened. Listened? She listened to the English class. To the English class. Very good. Thank you. Pamela. Pamela. No. Mauricio Enrique. He talked. 
in the party that's great he talked about movies in the party good one thank you so much good okay this is the case of the affirmative manner with the simple past now we're going to also revise the negatives so you have questions in the affirmative no question no questions okay now we're going to pass the list let me know that you are present please Okay, we begin. Adriana Gabriela? Adriana Gabriela? Alma Patricia? Present the teacher. Thank you, Alma. Ana Lisette? Ana Lisette? Brenda Esmeralda? Brenda Esmeralda? Brian Alexander. Present, Miss. Thank you, Brian. Camila Lisset. Present, teacher. Thank you, Camila. Carlos Mario. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Doris Emilia. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Elvis Leonel. Elvis Leonel. Estela Marisol. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eva Alicia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Eva. Francisco Samuel. Present, teacher. Thank you, very good. Iris Milena. Iris Milena. Present. Thank you, Iris. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer Elizabeth. Elena. En mi favor, esto está teniendo problemas con mi Okay. Okay, yes. Present. I listen. I listen to you. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay. Jose David. Present. Thank you, Jose. Karen Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Crisia Dorila. Crisia Dorila. Luis Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Mauricio Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. Ma eh, Mercedes Elizabeth. Mercedes Elizabeth. Nidia Yamilex. Present Nidia teacher. Thank you so much. Rosa Irma. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosa. Sarina <coughs> Susana. Thank you, Tatiana Maria. Present. Thank you, Tatiana. Wendy Lisette. Present. Thank you so much. Wilber Enrique. Present, teacher. Thank you. William Vladimir. Present. Thanks a lot. Yesenia Maribel. Yesenia Maribel. <clears throat> Yesenia Pamela. Present. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Let's continue then with our next part. Teacher, falta yo. I'm sorry? No me mencionó a mí. I didn't mention you. <gasps> Let me verify it. Let me check. Let me see. Luis Antonio, right? Yes. No? Yes, yes, I mentioned. Yes, you have here. Okay. Yes, it's ready. 
थैंक यू ओके लेट्स गो ऑन ऑन द नेगेटिव मैनर Okay, let me check here. Okay, we got the affirmative form. Now let's continue with the negative. And in the negative, we know that we need to use the auxiliary. So let's see what's the formula. We got subject. We can use didn't or did not if it's complete. Then you have the verb in the present or the base form plus a complement. We have some other examples. Move, moved. Need, needed. Play, played. Walk, walked. For example, you have Josh, did not or didn't move to California. You got the two manners here to express it. Now let's check another example. If you have, uh, for example, my sister needed a new pair of shoes. Disculpe, teacher, el verbo ahí que no tiene que ser en presente. Eh, in this one you have auxiliary, but it's negative. La forma del verbo, cuando usted utiliza negativo como va el auxiliar, el verbo debe de ir en forma base, porque el auxiliar ayuda al verbo. Mm. Por eso el verbo debe de ir en su forma base. Ahora, si es una afirmativa, ya que no utilizo auxiliar, el verbo va a ir en pasado. You have oh, the past. Esa, esta porque es entonces positiva. This is affirmative. Ajá. When it's affirmative, affirmative, affirmative. No auxiliary. Ajá. No auxiliary. Uh -huh. Because you only have this structure. You have, you have the subject, you have the verb in the past, and then the complement. But no auxiliary. Pero y que no es la que estamos haciendo... Did not. Ah, but this is negative. This is negative. Here. You have Josh did not or didn't. Es que hay dos formas. Puedo utilizar la forma completa con el auxiliar did not o puede ser contracción. You can have like a didn't. Pero el verbo debe de ir en forma base. Porque ya lleva auxiliar. Entonces auxiliar en pasado y verbo en pasado no es necesario. El auxiliar ayuda al verbo. Teacher, en la siguiente oración es. ¿En this one? Uh, ajá. Ajá. But you are no going to transform. The auxiliary. Exactly. Because you are going to transform. Ustedes lo van a transformar. This one is affirmative. You have my sister needed a pair of shoes. What is the negative? Didn't need. Didn't need. Correct. So my sister didn't need. Now you use base form of the verb. Didn't need a new pair of shoes. And then is how you transform. So you can see the difference. Aquí vemos la diferencia, right? You have my sister is the subject. The verb is in the past. And then you have the complement. So this will be affirmative. You see the difference. Now, in the negative, you have this. My sister didn't need a new pair of shoes. So need is the base form of the verb. So don't use my sister didn't need it, right? It's not necessary because you have the auxiliary. So this from here, it will be the negative. You see the difference? Yes? Yes, teacher. Question, question about it. Okay, now you give me another example. I didn't play poker last night. 
I didn't, sorry. I didn't play soccer last night. Okay, that's good. I didn't play soccer last night. So you have negative. I, that is the subject, didn't, auxiliary in negative, base form of the verb, and the complement form. Give us another example. Camila. Use a different verb. Move, walk. You can also use from here like listen, talk. Con cualquiera de esos verbos. Ajá, the one that you prefer. Okay. Um, I listened to music yesterday. Just negative. Oh. Just negative. I didn't. Ajá. I didn't listen listen music yesterday. All right. I didn't listen to music yesterday. All right. Then you have subjects. You have the verb form after the auxiliary in the negative. I didn't listen to music yesterday. That's great. Nice one. Let's continue. Let's see. Estela. Estela, are you there? William Vladimir? Um, I didn't... I help to uh, uh, play music. Maybe didn't uh, play music? Uh, my daughter. Okay. Didn't help. Mm -hmm. Didn't help uh, play music. Uh, my daughter. Didn't help. Mm -hmm. uh, you can say. My daughter. My daughter. Mm -hmm. Let me erase this. William didn't help assist that person, her daughter, to play music or to play a, a specific musical instrument also can be, right? Like the guitar. Guitar. Well, guitar. Okay, guitar. that could be an, a musical instrument. Nice. Very good. Thank you, William. Let's see with another one. Jose David, are you present? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Give us another example, please. Use the negative form. Um, I didn't mm -hmm. tell... Uh, okay. the the conversation, puede ser. I didn't tell. Maybe if you say I didn't tell the information. The information. Mm -hmm. Because when you tell, you tell an information, right? I oh, didn't no. tell. Talk. Talk. Es eso oh, talk. Talk. Uh -huh. Okay, you can say I didn't talk about the information. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. About the information. All right. Um, Jose didn't talk about the information. Great. Thanks. Okay. Now let's read them. Adriana. Adriana Gabriela. No. Yes. Adriana, can you listen? Problems with the audio, maybe? Doris, Emilia? Josh? Uh -huh. Didn't move. Move? Move. Didn't move? Didn't move. To? To California. Sí. Move to California. That's right. Yes. Did it, did move, it move to California? To California, that's correct. Thank you. Wendy Lisette? Yes. Uh -huh. 
The next one, please. This one wow. is affirmative. Let's practice the affirmative too. Okay. My sister. My sister needed a new uh -huh. pair of shoes. Good. Now read the negative. My sister. My sister didn't need a new pair of shoes. Very good. Thank you. Mauricio. Uh, I didn't. I didn't walk. Uh, this one. I didn't play. Ah, I didn't play soccer last night. That's correct. Thank you, Pamela. I didn't listen to music yesterday. That is correct. Thank you. Evalicia. William didn't have her, her daughter, daughter uh -huh. to play the guitar. That's right. Thank you. Let's continue. Luis Antonio. Luis Antonio. Jose didn't talk about the information. That is right. Good one. Okay, so we have affirmative and the negative form in the simple part. Let's remember here that we don't include the verb to be. The verb to be is a different structure that we need to have, but not in this case. This is the case of simple past with the rest of the verbs. Questions about it? No questions. No questions about the past? No All right. Let's remember tomorrow we continue with this topic, okay? And we're going to also practice a conversation using the simple past. Have a beautiful night, guys. Have a good, good night. night teacher. Have night, sweet teacher. dreams. Good night. Thank good night, sweet Thank dreams. You. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you.